Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome back to Royal Goose, everybody. <laughs> My chest. <laughs> Sick, dude. All dude, right. I, did we talk about this on Royal Goose? If so, I'll stop talking about it. There was a joke in Cow and Chicken that I thought happened, but I could never find it. So maybe it never happened. You, you said you thought it was funny. Oh, You're the... in the classroom and like cow or chicken is like, I need a pee. And he's like, I'll go for you. <laughs> like, I never found that. I, you know, that was years ago that you told me about that. Yeah. No, I, I think, I don't think that actually. Oh God, he's blue. <laughs> I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. Yeah. I, uh... The, the combat in this game is pretty simple, but I, I always thought it was really fun. Yeah. Ray, Rayman 3 definitely takes the con- the, uh, it's way more combat heavy, but it's 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 still a platformer. Yeah. It doesn't ruin what made Rayman fun. Oh, wait a second. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna do something fun here. We're gonna kill this guy. He's not even gonna, gonna know we're killing him. Okay, ready? You evil bastard. Okay, just gonna take the powder keg. Do it like this. Oh, snap, dog! No, don't do it to a sleeping man! I'm gonna do it. You know what they say about sleeping dogs, what? don't you? No. I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> they say never hit him with a powder keg. <laughs> yeah, mofo. Oh my god, what have you done to me, Jax? So, dude, there's been a there's been a lot going on in the past uh, few months. <laughs> like three months. It's been summer. Yeah, dude. Uh, Basically, when when was the last time we recorded? Like, and not even a one off. Like, what was it? DK sixty four was the last real big. No, the last one we did was, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's been so long. I feel like, I feel like we Nate... did something since DK64? Yeah, we did a way out, remember? That was after DK64? Uh-huh, that was the last big game that Holy we did. Holy balls, that then was we... a long time ago. Then we played Crash Team Racing. Then we did yes. Smash, and then we did, uh, that really long World of yeah, Warcraft Yeah, I, was, I wasn't counting those, um, I guess Crash Team Racing was, like, the last canon royal goose <laughs> if you want to call it that sure yeah. but um, but a real let's play yeah it was way out which was fun Narok again thanks for I, I really like that yeah dude no that, I'm glad we you should do that it. again and like play a newer game but I, today I was like you know if we're gonna get back into royal goobs like recording and stuff th like those games they're fun don't get me wrong but I get like a, a fucking hard on for these old school mm -hmm. you know nostalgic games I'm like oh yeah this is, this is what we started doing the channel with, so, you know, to get back into the... And hey, for all you dirty mother effers out there, when I say hard on, I'm talking about a hard rock, hard pencil that I can whip out and write notes on because it gets me excited about learning and I can review my notes later. Um... <laughs> Elliot's just looking at me right now. <laughs> He's like, James, say something. Say something funny. All right, check this out. Um, yeah, like a, quite quite a few big things have been going on for me recently. I, I recently hit over a thousand subs on my my own personal channel. Congratulations! Wait, aren't you close to two thousand subs? Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to two thousand. It's Hell nuts. Man. Yeah, dude. I don't know if we talked about that. You have that video, and it now has like two hundred thousand views. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. I, I, snap a seek link. It just came right the hell out of nowhere too. Free really me, cool. Rayman. Let's see, if this were the PS1 version, it'd be like, Free me, Rayman. Find the machine and destroy it. <laughs> I wish I could have been there and be like, God damn it, that's not how you act! Hello. I haven't even been in anything big, and I know that that's not Free how you me, act. Free me, Rayman. Hello, how are you today? Okay, Wee this part? There, dude, there oh, are... this was hard, right? Don't you have to jump or, like, dodge? Yeah. Th there are all, uh, quite a few moments in early on in this game where I got stuck, and this yeah, was dude. one of them. I, uh, I, I managed to... Do it like this, where it's like... <sighs> wow, you did it like that, where you die? Sick, dude! I, I just ended up just walking in circles to try and avoid it, and somehow I managed to get around it, but the, the way you're supposed to do it is like this. Not not immediately Ooh. obvious for my young brain, but... Uh... Yeah, no, there are a lot of things. Like, I can already think of three parts that were confusing to me as a kid. This, the part where I said, uh, when they're throwing the cannonballs at you, and you have to break that, um... Break the thing in the ground. Yep. Yeah, that was confusing. And in the first scene, where I'm like, "How do I get out of here?" Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this makes me think of three things. Sort of. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> there was a Looney Tune games on N64 that was kind of like this, like an adventure. -y... Do you know what game I'm talking about? 
Was it uh, Duck Dodgers? Yes! That game was fun, dude. I've, I've heard of that game, but I've never played it. Oh, I rented that from Blockbuster a couple times. I like that one. Um, and then, uh, I, I guess if you've never played it, I don't have anything else to add. If we can get a hold of that game, it would be interesting to see how it holds up. Duck Dodgers of the 24th and a half century! Yeah. Yeah, that, that cartoon was awesome. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. I was also going to talk about Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, dude. Luigi's coming out. Luigi's Mansion 3 comes Luigi's out. Luigi's Hotel, right? Yeah, is, that's essentially what it is. Is it a hotel? Wait, was two a hotel? I forget. No, two was multiple mansions. This one is a big hotel with multiple... It's a big skyscraper Sweet. with multiple floors. That's cool. And we're going to play that when it comes out. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! Over here, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Here's Hopefully the record it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you how to actually voice act. <laughs> Oh, Rayman, at last. I was afraid Glowbox had failed. <laughs> like, I'm at the Silver Lumbo. We got separated. I need to find him and get rid of those fuckers. But to do that, I'll need all of my powers. Well, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, but I I'm too weak to give you back all your powers. Uh, tough shit. They broke the primordial energy cord into a thousand looms. Or is it looms? I, I don't fucking know. And combining the energy has become very difficult, but, uh... Have you ever heard of Pol Polakis? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you voice act. <laughs> C+. <laughs> Fortunately, he's been secluded for many years. Everyone knows you can't do a deep voice for someone with purple hair. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to hear my voice for her? Yes, go for it. <laughs> what do you think? Beautiful. Thanks, dude. dude. A minus. Thanks. Combined, we can get an A plus. <laughs> Ooh, balls. Shiny. God, I love the way he talks. I love the way you talk. Yeah, the PS1 version. Instead of like a legit yeah, he goes he goes like Yahoo. <laughs> really? And it's like <sighs> ooh, I remember this part. <clears throat> um, well, that hurt my voice. And <laughs> on another note, <laughs> that, that reminds me of me when I do my nitrous oxide voice like yeah. this, and it, after a few hours, it's like <clears throat> Jesus. Yeah, that hurts, man. Yeah, dude. Anyways, uh, you have something to say? Oh, there is some more information on the newest PlayStation, PlayStation 5. I think it's going to have an SSD in it, so games are going to boot up real fast, dog. What's an SSD? The solid state drive. It's uh, an alternative storage mechanism instead of like a hard disk drive for a hard drive. Okay. So hard drive disk has like a spinning physical disk in it, right? Mm -hmm. And you read in with laser all of the data from the disk. Solid state disk is just flash memory inside, so it loads really, really fast. There's no spinning disk. It's hmm. like a, it's like a really big USB stick, sort of. <laughs> if that okay. kind of makes sense. <clears throat> I'm oversimplifying. Oh. Yep. Okay. But things load way faster, so if you're booting up a game, it'll load really quickly. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I I, I heard a. I, I saw someone tweet about this. Apparently, it's supposed. To there's a rumor that it could be backwards compatible. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I have a buddy who's, like, been saying that, too. But I really don't think it's going to be... My, he's saying, like, backwards compatible with PS1, 2, 3, 4. I'm like, no fucking way. Oh, that'd be the best. It would be that'd cool, be but, like, they wouldn't make any money from that. Yeah, not really. Like, what are they going to do? Re-release PlayStation 1 games? <laughs> like, no way. I mean, they're already doing that. They, they were Physical doing physical copy though. Well, they were doing they were re-releasing them digitally on PS3, but have have they been selling PS1 games on PS4? I don't know if they I have. Don't know. Or not. I I really don't know. Dude, I don't was think it so. PS3 or no? I think it was PS4. There was like a a streaming service where you could like rent games and like play them via like a server. So like you I, you would rent a PlayStation 3 game mm -hmm. from PlayStation 4. It would connect to a service that I think was just linked up to a bunch of like. PS3s in a warehouse, or just an emulator of some sort, and then it would like stream it to your your TV. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have no idea, man. I, I I but I haven't played a single I haven't played a single classic game on my PS4. Hey, what's up? It's me, Butt Buddy. Stick me in your butt and see what happens. Maybe I'll spout an earring, or maybe you'll be a fashion barista. I don't know. <laughs> Look at my teeth. You know I'm trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Jen, what are you eating? Jen's eating a sandwich. A sandwich. What kind of sandwich? A good one. What's the good one have? All the stuff. You heard it here, folks. Good sandwich has all the stuff. It's Barbecue sauce, pineapples. Some triceratops meat. Yeah, some tripe, some cod liver, some pig ear. Some oil. Fish oil. Dude, in middle school, one time a kid brought like fish oil capsules and he like broke them and threw them in like the eight the HVAC system. So like the what? The the, the like uh, AC and heating system. And uh, it smelled real bad, and they had to shut down a wing of our middle school because like kids were puking when they'd walk into it because it just smelled like like rotting fish. What the hell? Yeah, dude. It was, Why would he do that? I don't know because it was like funny. <laughs> Okay, that, that probably wasn't even his plan at first, right? I don't know. He's probably just like dicking around. And I don't, I don't really realize. know the kid. <laughs> it's weird. Kids, I, I kids think he was just like, hey, this will be funny, dude. I'm gonna like make it smell real bad. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh. baby, the mess. <laughs> I hate this part. Why? It goes so fast. <sighs> Psych? I, I think one of the coolest things about Rayman is his helicopter hair, by far. That's one of the coolest things. <laughs> That's just such a creative idea. Just helicopter hair. I love that. You know what's even crazier? Hmm. Next time on Royal Goobs, we're going to see if you make it, dog. Later!